Hey everybody, this is Mike. Uh, folks at Twin Galaxies know me as Malignant Poodle. What I wanted to do was uh, just basically demonstrate the consolized Neo Geo MVS system. And first question a lot of people have with regard to this is, what is it? And basically it is a arcade board, a Neo Geo arcade board that has been converted to work like a console. Um, arcade boards have all kinds of non-standard connections. You know, there's the JAMA edge connector, which everything runs off of. These are actually MVS wiring standard. It's a little bit different, but same basic principle. And with that, you basically have everything running off this connection. Now, in order to do this, a lot has to be changed. Um, so for one, the video outputs RGB, red, green, blue, and we have to convert that to an NTSC signal for television, at least in North America and Japan. And for that, I've used a really inexpensive uh, converter or encoder. It's called a YACV04. Uh, it's actually really good, bang for the buck. The other thing is, these boards run off 12 and 5 volts. I've converted it so that it runs only on 5 volts. Um, so with that, we can use a standard AC adapter instead of an arcade power supply. Uh, this will run off a of 5 volt, 3 amp is what you want. I found an AC power supply for 99 cents at a thrift store. It was 5 volt, 2.8 amps, close enough. The other thing we do is we put audio out, and there it is, uh, left and right audio. That's one of the differences from JAMA. This has actual stereo sound. The toggle switch for the power. This button is to add coins, credits, and this one is to go into the service menu. I've also uh, mounted this on some plexiglass so that wires and stuff don't snag, and so that the components on the bottom don't cross or get into anything. Now as far as controllers, the really interesting thing about these, this one's kind of rough. The, the top was painted, you know, before I did anything. That's a, the nicer one, but the interesting thing about the controllers is that these boards were made with, with these 15 pin controller ports like the Neo Geo has. And I don't know why they did that. I'm not going to complain, but it makes it real easy. So for example, uh, instead of like a super gun, you know, where you wire in a controller or have ports for controllers, it's already on there. And so you can just plug in a regular Neo Geo controller and it works. Uh, so the next question is, why? I mean, if you have the home system, why would you consoleize an arcade board to do the same thing with arcade carts? That's a very good question. The number one reason is price. Uh, Take Metal Slug, for example. If you get the first Metal Slug, if you can even, well, if you get it on arcade, it'll, these carts, they'll run you about $50, $60 for a cart. For the home system, if you can even find it, you're gonna pay about three, dollars $4,000 in that neighborhood, yes, for that one cart. Uh, the most extreme example is like Kazuna Encounter. Uh, for the arcade, you could pick it up for about $100. Uh, the home system, if you can even find one for sale, it's going to run you about $50,000, forty dollars to 50000 no joke. So you can get the Neo Geo experience on the arcade carts, on your television for the most cost effective. Now some people like to go with the Neo Geo CD and the problem with that is, one, loading times, number two is that mm, there's a whole bunch of the arcade games that were never released for that system. Now, this is a parts board, and I just wanted to briefly show some of the other mods I did for it, and then I'll, I'll show you it running. All of these boards, pretty much every one I've run into has audio problems. The audio is too low, or it's scratchy, or one channel is louder than the other. And during the time these were produced, the caps were pretty bad. And so I've replaced all of the capacitors for the audio section in there. The other thing is, they came with this rechargeable battery. This stores the high scores and the game settings and things of that nature. 
these leak and I know like a lot of you guys know about like the Amiga systems and how the Amiga batteries would leak it's the same thing here so what I did was I've re on these I've removed this battery and I've replaced it with a coin cell holder and a CR2032 coin cell battery and I also removed this resistor so that it doesn't run a charge to that battery so the charging system is disabled you know in five ten years down the road when you replace a battery you just put a new coin cell in the holder so that's the mod that it's had done so what I'll go ahead and do is power this on now I do have a Sony PVM monitor uh, don't let that scare you as far as these go because it's running off of an S video connection so it, it does work on a regular TV and it looks great on a regular TV but I happen to have this in here so we'll power it on for just a quick demo And in case you're wondering, super guns and these these CMVS consolidated consolized MVS, they're not allowed for submissions at Twin Galaxies. That's the verdict. But if you just want to play the game, they're great, and uh, it's good to practice on too. So we have a couple of coins. I've also set it up to where the volume can be adjusted with the slider that's on the board. As far as the service menu, got the button set up for that. There's the hardware test. Oh, I've got my date off. Uh, you can set up the dip switches for each game, and it'll save this for you. Calendar and whatnot. And so that's basically what a console is in VS is. And uh, thanks for watching.